All right. That's it. Hey guys, Wade here with Texas Duck Dogs, Callback Retrievers, Eager Retriever, and now on the hunt dog fuel. Life-changing dog food, life-changing ingredients. Uh, I'm here with my partner, Dolly. Uh, Dolly recently had a tumor removed from her right eye, and she's learning to train um, a little differently these days. Uh, the most important thing to a retriever is their vision, and so for a dog to lose an eye is a big deal, but she's handled it like a champ. It bothers me more than it does her, and uh, she's been retrieving well and has made a a full recovery. Uh, the surgery was about six weeks ago. So anyway, today we're doing a water blind drill. And, and this is something I, I'm using an old dog to do it, but typically I do this with my younger dogs. I have my helper out there. His name's Nathan, and he's going to plant the bumper, and it's going to be visible. And I'm going to run the dog on the blind. Um, this first blind is, is a double log jump down the shoreline with an entry and then a point and a re-entry and then there will be two or three other blinds around the pond that you'll get to see um, and so this is more of a teaching drill that I do with young dogs that are just starting to run blinds or or even sometimes I'll do it if I'm having certain issues with a dog um, maybe water issues or certain initial line issues. I will use this drill to do that. Now, typically the first day, and depending on the dog, the second day, I'll have my helper plant the blind each time and it, use a visible blind. But by the third day, and for some dogs on the second day, it's an orange bumper and the dogs don't see the helper plant it and they're running it because they remember running it the day before, or maybe they don't remember and they're just running it because they have, have to. So anyway, I, I hope this blind drill is helpful for you. This is Dolly. Come on. So I'm actually uh, trying to learn to run Dolly on, on my... She, I, I heal and run all my dogs from my left. But Dolly, I've been working to heal her on the right. Heal. Heal. Good. Heal. And this is more for me to learn how to run her from the right. So I'm checking her line and from the base of her tail to her shoulders, I need to have that pointed right at that bumper. I'm gonna move her over a little bit. And she and I are getting on the same page about how to do all this, so y'all bear with us. Okay, right there. My helper's walking out, he's planting the bumper. It's visible. Now he's going to walk back. Dead. Right there. But. No. No. Heel. So Dolly took a horrible initial line there. Heel. Shit. Dead. Here. Right there. No. Heel. Heel. Sit. Uh uh uh. Sit. Good. Dead. Here. Right there. Look. No. Come here. Come here. So, we're getting that unwanted line. So, I'm going to simplify by scooting up. Here. And I'm going to heal her back where I want her. Heal. Heal. Sit right there. Now I'm going to actually teach her the line. Dolly! Log one, log two. Good! Good. Now I'm going to run this blind again. Heel. It's still planted where Nathan planted it. So you probably saw there to teach that line, I just tossed a bumper out on the line. Heel. Sit. Got her lined up. Dead. Right there. Right there. But Fuck. Good, okay. She's online now. 
So I'm going to back up to create a little space and distance, and I'm going to repeat this. Same thing. I'll have my helper walk out, plant the bumper, and then he'll go and hide, and I'll send her for the visible blind. Good. You cannot run every blind this way, or they will never learn to run true cold blinds especially with factors. Nathan, we're going to repeat that if you'll go ahead and plant the next one. Actually, I'm not going to have uh, her watch him plant this one. He's just going to watch out, plant it in the exact same spot, and then we're going to repeat this blind. Good. Dolly took both logs on the way back. Okay, heel. Heel. Good. Sit. So she's healed on the right, which I'm not good at that. Sit, dead, right there, right there. Back! She's taking the logs in a different place on that second log than the first time, which she went to the <coughs> easier spot. I'm gonna allow that since she's eight and a half and just lost her eye. Maybe we'll cut her a little slack, but as long as they challenge that log, I don't care if they're on the right side of it or on the left side of it. I don't want them on the right edge, and I don't want them left in the water swimming around it. Good! So Dolly handled that really well. So we're going to go ahead and back up, repeat it again. Again, this is teaching. Uh, what I'm doing here is teaching. Uh, uh, I want to be able to run blinds like this with my dogs without having it taught beforehand. So this is a transitionary step. Let's go back to the first one. Go back to that other one. Yeah, go ahead and plant it. Okay, heel, 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 sit, drop, heel, sit. All right, so she saw Nathan plant that. So we're still learning how to do this right side heel thing, meaning I'm learning. Dead. Right there. Back. No. No. So I got the same line that we got when we first tried to run this, where she falls down the hill. So she's going to get some training here. I gave her a nick. Heel. Heel. Sit. Dead. Right there. Dead, right there. Back! No! So she can't fall off the hill and go down to the water. So there I gave her a pretty firm verbal no. Heel. Sit. Heel. Heel. Sit. Dead. Back. Okay. Much better this time. You see, I stepped up two or three feet. Just want to really make sure she understood what I was asking, and she did. And she's taking a perfect line. So tomorrow, Dolly will get this blind with just an orange bumper. We won't have the helper plan it and where she gets to watch, and it won't be a white visible bumper. It will be just a solid orange bumper. Which dogs are colorblind to orange, a lot of people don't know that. Uh, they actually think they're buying the orange bumper because it's more visible. Well, it's only more visible to you. It's actually less visible to the dog. Dogs are colorblind to orange and it shows up at gr as gray uh, in their color spectrum. And so it blends in with the grass in the background and they have a hard time seeing it. And uh, retriever trainers use it for uh, teaching you know, use of their nose or to run blind retrieves where they don't want. That a girl, good dog, good dog. So give her some good dogs there for taking those logs. Heel. Nope. She wants to heal on the left. I want her on the right. Heel. Heel. Hey, heel. Come here. Heel. Heel. Charlie, don't get in front of the camera, bud. 
if you could go ahead and back up a little bit. Thank you. Okay, heel. Heel. Sit. Drop. Sit. Okay. Dead. I'm using my normal blind running cues right there. Now he's going to plant the blind. He's going to go hide. Okay, dead. Here, here, here. Dead, right there. Here. Back. The main reason I'm using an eight-year-old dog on what I would normally be doing with young dogs. Oh, she's struggling to get over that log. There's a big submerged log right there. She got over it. Uh, but the main reason I'm using an old dog uh, for a drill that I would normally run young dogs on. So she's veering offline a little bit. So we're going to blow one whistle stop. And then a left back cast. We're going to do it again. I'm wanting her to hit that little gap. So I'm going to give a left step over and the straight right back. I mean straight left back. And that got her back on line and she's now advancing towards the blind as she should. But the reason I'm using an eight-year-old dog on a young dog blind running drill is because she lost that eye and she and I are learning to work together again. Um, I'm not comfortable healing dogs on the right because I don't train that way. My training mentors don't train that way. So that's new territory for me. And just, you know, moving her head right and left. And, and now why, why would I switch her from left to right? Let me explain that. Dolly lost her right eye. So for her to be healed on the left, she would use her right eye to watch me out of her peripheral vision. And with her right eye, she would check my leg and know where to line up and where I was asking her to heal. We haven't had much success with that since. Uh, since the eye removal, this healing on the left has not been going well. I've been having to get way in front of her where can she can actually see me from her left eye. So I said, hey, let's, let's go back. This, this dog was taught two-sided healing as a puppy by a very good training friend of mine, and, and so she knows two-sided healing. She has not used it in six years, but I said, why not bring this back and put her on the right-hand side? And so I'm running her on this drill so that I can learn how to line her up and we can grow and develop as a team running from the right-hand side. Good. Good, okay. Heel. Heel. Sit, drop, good, heel, heel, sit, heel, heel, sit, heel, here, heel, sit, right there, right there, dead. Dead. Here. Here. Dead. Here. Right there. Right there. Back. She wasn't entering the water quite where I wanted her to. So I whistled her there on the shoreline and gave her the left angle cast. She's not, she got back on line, but she's not going to the blind. So that was a straight left back cast. She's not wanting to get out of the water. So we're going to make sure that she understands we want her out of the water with a left angle cast. She took the cast. Now I'm going to give her a right back. Back. 
should not have done the verbal cast there. She's wanting to go back over to that blind over there, so I'm just going to be patient. Keep working with her. Nathan will repeat that um, if you'll replant it when she's on the way back. So I don't like the way the front half of that blind went. Uh, she's going to pick this bumper up and Nathan's going to replant it. And uh, on, on, while she's on the return, she's not going to get to watch the replant. And then we'll try it again, see if we get a little cleaner, smoother effort. We chose this um, small piece of water because of all of the factors, the logs, the tree stumps, islands, the, all the in and outs and the technical angle, angle entry, angle exit, re-entry, um, all of those things make for challenging blinds. And so if we're gonna do something uh, like this for three to five days in a row, uh, we're going to have it in an area that's going to challenge them and ultimately by that fourth and fifth day that we run this we want to see the dogs gaining in confidence and momentum heel no heel good good heel heel, heel. set drop set okay dead Here, here, sit, dead, right there. No, she's not looking in the right place. Here, so I'm gonna step back on her head, try to pull her inside. Good, right there. Back! So we're kind of right back where we left off on that unwanted water entry. And I can see she still is not sure about where this blind is. But because we've been there before, it should go smoother this time which it is that cast was much better she's saying okay so now she's too far left i want to move her just a little bit right she didn't give me the movement that i'm looking for so we're going to ask with a little more definiteness okay i got the i got the movement i'm looking for there I gave a, a right step with a slight angle instead of a big angle. It's kind of a slight angle instead of a straight back. You can see the different casts there. Okay, so she's doing good. So I think as we run this, you know, day three, day four, and day five, that's going to clean up and get smoother. Charlie, come here, bud. This is my son, Charlie. Come here. He's uh, playing hooky from school today because he, his eardrum ruptured and they've started him on antibiotics and steroids and 
he wanted to go out to the field with dad so he's been playing you want it repeated no we'll move to the last one uh so he's playing phone games and hanging out in the back of the truck and enjoying the sunshine aren't you buddy mm -hmm. all right go hang out over there So Nathan is getting set up for our fourth and final blind. And Dolly's going to split those tree limbs exactly where I wanted her to go out. Good. Good. Come on. Heel. Heel. Sit. Drop. Good. Heel. Heel. Sit. Heel. Heel. Sit. Heel. Come on here. There you go. I don't have her lined up quite right. No. Come here. Heel. You didn't like that, did you? Come here. Heel. Here. Sit. Right there. Dead. Here. Sit. Right there. Right there. Good. Dead. Right there. Back. Heel. 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 Sit. Dead. Here. 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 Right there. Dead. Right there. Here. Right there. Here. 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 Back. No. So Dolly no good me there, and then she won't take the line I'm asking her to take. Heel. Hey, heel. I don't know if this has to do with how uncomfortable we are running blinds from the right together or something else. Dead. Here. 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 Right there. Right there. Back. So she got a good correction there because she's refusing to take the line I'm sending her on. <clears throat> what I very well think may be going on in an older dog that's had a lot of training, there when I tell her dead, she's looking off. So so she's interpreting this planted muffler as a mark. I think she's interpreting the planted bumper that's visible as a mark. And when I say dead, she's thinking she's supposed to look off of it and go somewhere else. Because the cue dead is for a blind and not for a mark. So I'm probably confusing this older dog, which I'm regretting now at this point. What I thought was going to be a helpful drill to create some teamwork and get us on the same page uh, hasn't done what I hoped. I, I think it would have been better off to have all four of these blinds planted in advance and then to just come out with Dolly and run the blinds as the way we normally would, um, you know, if it were at a trial and, and you just walk up to the line and run the blind and there's nobody visibly planning it. And we don't do this often in training, never essentially with the older dogs, always with the younger dogs. <clears throat> anyway, so this is Dolly. This is a water blind drill, uh, just something that I'm doing uh, with a couple of the younger dogs to make sure they understand these 
factors and <clears throat> you know over the logs angle entry angle exit through the trees on and off the points and all of that so happy training and see you in the field